What's up everybody? It's that one guy here. We are here with episode number two of my favorite motorcycle movie moments. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you've probably seen me wear this shirt before, and it's not just because I like the design, it is because I love Batman. Batman, since I was a kid, was my favorite superhero. I watched the animated series growing up. I read the graphic novels. I watched the Tim Burton original Michael Keaton Batman. I watched the George Clooney Batman. I watched the Val Kilmer Batman. And obviously, I love the new Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about today is the Bat Pod from the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. Now the Bat Pod makes a clearer appearance in the Dark Knight Rises, but in the Dark Knight it just makes this badass entry into the Batman universe. Um, when the Batmobile is no longer functional, Batman messes around with his computer inside the, the Batmobile, or what they call it the Tumblr um, from the new Dark Knight series, and then boom! Out pops the bat pod and he just goes out. Um, it, it, it was spectacular and it's one of my favorite, not just one of my favorite motorcycle movie moments, This is that was one of my favorite movie, movie moments, period. I mean, it helps that I'm a big fan of Batman. And again, I'm nerding out, that's okay. We're gonna talk about the bat pod. Now, a couple things about the bat pod that you might not know. Now, in September of 2016, the bat pod was available to buy at auction. The actual, motorcycle or the bat motorcycle that they used from the movie The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises was available at auction and ended up going for a, over a hundred a hundred thousand dollars so um, likely not a lot of you would have been able to put out the scratch to buy the actual bike but that bike was functional you could ride that machine um, this wasn't this was a practical effect this was not special effects now was part of it a special effect for the movie when they did some of the stunts sure but the actual bike ran, now let me just tell you about some of the particulars and you can find this, I'll leave a link down there. Um, you can find this at maxim.com. They did, did a really cool article when they were getting ready to, to auction this thing off. Now, let me just give you some of the particulars. Uh, <laughs> now, these tires on, this, on the Bat Pod were 31 inch Hoosier racing tires. Riding position is like a prone riding position. You talk about being in a, uh, <laughs> having rear controls, this bike was, you were completely laid out to ride this bike. Uh, it had 149 and a half inch length. The bike ran on a 750cc Honda motorcycle engine. Um, it was wrapped inside a fiberglass body. So again, uh, they used fiber, fiberglass for the body. So, I mean, we're talking about these tires that had to have been so heavy. Um, so making the body lighter, I'm sure was part of actual trying to get the actual functionality out of the motorcycle. Uh, obviously, the, the guns in front were props, and, but again, uh, the, the actual bike itself was fully functional. Um, I don't know how it would be to turn one of those things with those tires that were so huge. I can only imagine how uh, immobile it felt to be on those things. To go straight forward, sure, that would have been easy, but again, uh, I'm sure that bike's lean angle <laughs> I'm sure it was tough to get into a turn leaning that bike over. And then if you go to the Batman wiki page, um, you can also find some more information on this. So I'll leave a link to that as well. But the last little tidbit that I'll give you about this bike um, found from that Batman wiki page, which I'll also leave in there. If you go to the Batman wiki page, that obviously a lot of the information there is more about uh, the story of Batman. But it also gets, lets you know that the engines for the bike were actually mounted inside of the wheels. So guys, that's all I have for you for this second episode of that one guy's favorite motorcycle movie moments. This is a series that's gonna go on for a while. So if you have some input, if there's a motorcycle from a movie or a TV show that you would like for me to add to this series, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Or you can go to my webpage at thatoneguymoto.com and submit it there. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there, and if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button, which I'll pop up right over here. And if you'd like, click on one of the links over in this direction to go straight to one of my other videos. Guys, if you're riding, be safe, and if you're not riding, get riding. This is that one guy, and I'm out.